I am Mr. P. C. Niyogi, teacher from Government Girls Higher Secondary School. Today, I will teach class 9 students mathematics. Chapter 12. The topic is Heron's formula. So students, already you have the idea of a triangle. The three-sided figure. A triangle is a three-sided cross figure. Now, to find the area of a triangle, we know that area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. <coughs> now, in this formula, you have to know base and height of the triangle. Then only you will be able to find out the area. <coughs> but if height is not there suppose height is not given only this base is given and the other two sides are given in that case you cannot apply this formula in every sum so there is a formula that is known as Heron's formula Heron. means a mathematician he has given this formula that area of a triangle is equal to root over <coughs> s into s minus a s minus b s minus c now what is s s is known as semi perimeter 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 is the total boundary okay of a figure. So, uh, if this perimeter, if you divide it by 2, that is called semi-perimeter. <coughs> now, in this case, we have to take, suppose ABC is a triangle and the three sides are small a, small b, small c. So, ABC are the three sides of a triangle. S is the semi-perimeter. <coughs> Okay, students, so this formula you have to use to calculate the area of a triangle. So in chapter 12, page number 230, it is given Heron's formula and triangle, you see, we have isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, right angle triangle, okay, acute triangle, obtuse triangle. So, here the formulas are given. For isosceles triangle, what formula we will use? For equilateral triangle, what formula we will use? So, first we will start with this Heron's formula. Then, let us come to the exercise 12a, page number 233. In this exercise, you see question number 1. It is given, find the area of the triangle, the lengths of whose sides are 18 cm, 24 cm and 30 cm. <clears throat> so this is exercise 12. Question number one, solution. You can draw a triangle. <coughs> so ABC is a triangle. Okay. There are three sides. One is 18 centimeter. One is 24 centimeter. And one is your 30 centimeter. This is just suppose. If you don't draw figure, also fine. Okay. Then, here, these three sides, you give the name. Let small a equal to 18 centimeter. Small b equal to 24 centimeter. And small c equal to, small c equal to 30 centimeter. 
small c equal to 30 centimeters. I think you can see. Okay. Now, <coughs> let me adjust it. Now you see, you calculate the value of S, S equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2, okay? Then A is how much? 18 centimeter plus 24 plus 13 divided by 2, this is centimeter. <coughs> equal to how much we are getting 8 plus 4 12 4 to 6 7 so 72 by 2 okay equal to 36 centimeter so this is the value of s therefore you can write from Hiran's formula <clears throat> we get this is the symbol of a triangle but here we will use as a area of a triangle so this is the area of a triangle equal to this formula right s into s minus c s minus b s minus c okay students then what is the value of s 36 then 36 minus what is the value of a we took it is 18 then 36 minus what is the value of small b it's 24 into 36 minus 30 now you see centimeter 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 so if you multiply all the centimeters, what you will get? Centimeter to the power 4. And because of this root, what is the power of root? 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 multiplied 4. That means the power, it will come out as centimeter square. See, outside the root. But remember, the centimeter square is the unit of area. It may be centimeter square, maybe meter square. But here in this question, it's given centimeters, so it is centimeter square. Now, you multiply 36, multiply 18, 36 minus 18 is 18, 36 minus 24, what you will get? 8, okay, sorry, how much you will get? 36 minus 12, 24, it is 12. Then 6 centimeter square. But don't keep this centimeter square inside the root. It is outside the root. Now, to find out the square root, many students, what they do, they split. Say 36, 2 into 18, then again by 2 into 9. So like this way. But I give you one easy process. Say this is 12. And this is 36 then if I break it in this way 3 into 12 means 12 3 is a 36 so you are getting another 12 you have to make the numbers pair no under the square root 18 18 you write 3 into 6 do you understand okay so 36 is 3 into 12, 18 is 3 into 6, and 12, I don't split because already 12 you got, 
and 6 also I keep it as it is so now what you are getting <coughs> inside the root 3 into 3 3 square 12 into 12 12 square then then what so 3 into 3 3 square 12 into 12 12 square and 6 into 6 6 square centimeters I am using this bracket here because it is two digit number that's why I am using bracket now square 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 and root it will be automatically cancelled that is already you know <coughs> so what you will get here 3 into 12 into 6 centimeter square equal to how much you multiply 3 6 are 18 18 into 12 216 centimeter square answer so students <coughs> Now you have understood how Hiron's formula is useful for us. In any triangle, if three sides are given, <coughs> then easily you can apply Hiron's formula. First, you have to find out the semi-perimeter. Then, after that, you put the value in the formula and you will get the result. See, you have got the textbook in the textbook so many examples are there if suddenly you don't understand you cannot do the sum you take the help from the textbook easily explained examples are there say page number 231 illustrative examples example one so find the area of a triangle whose sides are 9 cm, 12 cm and 15 cm. Now three sides are given and you apply Hiron's formula. You have to find out semi-perimeter that is S equal to A plus B plus C by 2. Then you put the value and you get the result. Main thing you have to practice it. <coughs> If you think that your sir is not here or teacher is not here and you are not able to do it, no, I don't believe that. First, you try. You take the help from example. Okay. Then, in exercise 12a, another sum is there. Question number two. Find the area of the triangle whose sides are 120 centimeter then 150 centimeter and 200 centimeter same formula you apply and you do it at home now question number three is a little bit different I'll teach you in question number three what is written so students you understood this sum now in question number three it is written okay let me write the sum the base of a right angle triangle base of a right angle triangle is 48 centimeter and its hypotenuse and its hypotenuse is 50 centimeter. Find the area of the triangle.
A of the track. Before starting the song, you read the question. First, you learn how to apply Hiran's formula. Okay, fine. Second thing, the sums are little bit different way it is set. So, when you see this question, the base is given. Base of a right triangle. How much? 48 centimeter. And a hypotenuse is 50 centimeter. Find the area of the triangle. So, what you do? In this question, you can take the help of a figure. You remember it. Every question, no need to draw the figure. If you feel that drawing a figure, it will be helpful for you, then you must draw. And if it is not necessary, then don't draw. In this question, you see, I am drawing a right angle triangle. So this is base. This is 90 degree. Say ABC. What is base? 48 centimeter. What is hypotenuse? 50 centimeter. Now, in the question, if it is not mentioned that use Hiron's formula only, if it is not mentioned, then you are free to apply another alternative formula. Do you understand? But if it is mentioned that you must apply Hiron's formula, that means you have to apply Hiron's formula. Now you see, area of a triangle from class 7, you have learned that half into base into height. Now here base is given, height is not there, hypotenuse is given. So what I will do, see, first I will apply Pythagoras theorem, the Pythagoras formula. What is that? Perpendicular square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. So. You can write in right triangle RT shortcut and writing ABC comma we get we get AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. Already you got this formula? You can write in bracket from from where you got this? Pythagoras. From Pythagoras theorem. Okay? That implies AB square plus 48 centimeter square equal to AC is 50 centimeter square. See the steps. This type of question when you solve it systematically you do. Then that implies AB square equal to 50 centimeter square minus 48 centimeter whole square. See students, 
you are doing maths i am doing maths other teachers are doing your parents are doing all of us we are doing but always remember always try to take the option which is much easier why i have not written 48 into 48 i have not calculated here here also i have not calculated i tell you here you are getting 50 square okay fine 5 5 square is 25 so 2500 here you will get this one to multiply you have to again write 48 into 48 how much it will consume a little bit time but if you are clever then you can do like this a b square equal to see a square minus b square what is the formula a plus b into a minus b very easy you can write that way understood so i am writing 50 centimeter plus 48 centimeter into 50 centimeter minus 48 centimeter just i am showing you in this way so that easily you can do or if you think it is more convenient that first you multiply this one also you multiply then after that you subtract it is up to you okay now see how much it is easier for you to calculate 50 plus 48 how much ab square equal to see, 98 centimeter and this one how much 50 minus 48 2 centimeter very easy then after that ab square equal to if you multiply this 196 centimeter square this one it will be much easier if you do like this 196 it is 14 centimeter whole square so both side square square just gone or you can bring it as root over another line you have to write so try to minimize it so therefore a b equal to 14 centimeter so you are getting a b is how much 14 centimeter do you understand then therefore the area of the triangle equal to now students is this way three sides are given so easily you can bring Heron's formula but Heron's formula if you apply the sum will be little bit long and the calculation also little bit little bit lengthy but when you find a right triangle and you get perpendicular and base these two sides these are called two legs of a right triangle then for you very easy just apply this half into base into height what is the result half into base is 48 centimeter height is 14 centimeter do you understand cancel 7 so equal to multiply 36 centimeter square answer so you have understood then without Hiron's formula also you can do this type of sums by this formula half into base into height but remember it this is possible when it is a right triangle or or any triangle if the height is given suppose like this the height is there okay and the height is always perpendicular to this base to this side or any other side if you take this way also then this will be taken as base and this is height now it depends on you that how much you practice it at home because mathematics you have to practice it without practicing you cannot remember 
okay now in this exercise you will get different types of sums so you can see that one sum is there they are using equilateral triangle that is question number 10 the height of an equilateral triangle measures 9 centimeter find its area see when it is equilateral triangle or it is isosceles triangle so from the first page of this chapter chapter 12 you can apply direct this formula see isosceles triangle area is given equilateral triangle area is given okay so these are the formulas directly you can apply okay and example sums you do it nicely at home you prepare notes don't think that examples are not important so no need to do if you do examples easily you can get the idea then the sums are done here in the book itself so if your teacher is not there if your teacher is not present or if you are alone you have to do or if no one is at home to help you then automatically you can take the help from these examples okay so with this i want to stop it here but once again i am telling you at home you have enough time now no school so you practice sincerely okay students thank you